Hello everybody, welcome to Micro Plugin Development. Today we are going to be making our first Velocity plugin. I'm going to be giving you a simpler way than the official Minecraft or paper documentation provides you. So first things first, we're not going to be using what they pick right here. Where is that creating your first plugin? So we're not going to be using Micro Plugin uh, Development for IntelliJ because I tried that plugin and I went ahead and I typed a new project in Minecraft and I selected plugin velocity and I configured all that crap. And then I hit create and I was blown away by just how much junk it creates. I mean, you have, look at this crap. You have the main class, you got built constants, you got a Gradle wrapper folder, Gradle, and you got one, two, three, four, five different files. This is crazy. And I know you guys, some of you like to use Gradle. I personally don't because everything that we have right here can be turned into a single file that is only 44 lines long. So what I've done is I've made a Maven template, very simple Maven template, which you can download from GitHub. The link is in the description. And all you're going to do is first of all, head over to the Velocity plugin template on my GitHub account, click code, download the zip, then upload your zip on your desktop. You can delete the zip after you've uncompressed the file. And then we're going to be making the chat filter AI plugin, which is going to be pretty cool. So first of all, just rename the folder, open it, head over to the POM file, and then rename the artifact ID as well, just like that. And then all we have to do is change the group ID, which is the main package name. For me, since I'm running this under my company, I just say Org Mine Academy. You can do whatever you want to. This is basic Java stuff. And then the main class, it can be just chat filter AI and then chat filter AI or chat filter AI plugin, whatever you, you want to build. And then you can basically keep the dependency as it is. You can keep the Maven jar as it is, and you can keep the Maven compiler as it is. You'll notice I'm using Java 17, which is completely fine. You can of course use that to a newer version of Java, but 17 is just fine. Once you're done, head over to IntelliJ, click open. If you can't see the button here, go to file and then go open from the file and then just navigate to wherever you have your think, open it. There we go. Just like that. And it should now work. Now, if something doesn't work, you need to check that you have all the IntelliJ plugins enabled. So head over to settings and then plugins, and then make sure that you have the and enabled. You got your little, well, I do recommend you have safe actions X as, and fast crawling enabled too. Uh, I explained this already in my earlier videos on this YouTube channel. You also need Maven is definitely make sure this is on and then Gradle. We actually don't need for now, but it's a good thing to have in case you want to open up a plugin, you sync it. All right. That's all you're going to do. Now, if you can open this source main Java main package, you need to right click the main package and go ahead to refactor rename and then make sure to change this to the same as the main path. So I believe this was chat filter AI. We can verify this if we open up POM now from IntelliJ. That's right. And then basically we need to also rename the uh, main plugins file to be chat filter AI, just like that, just to make sure that the main class uh, corresponds to it. Now, the interesting thing and the biggest difference between velocity and bungee cord or a bucket, there is no plugin.yml. So inside a resources folder, well, there isn't even a resources folder folder because there are no resources. There is no plugin.yml and the same information is basically loaded from the plugin annotation. So the ID right here uh, should be lowercase. This is going to be chat filter AI. And then the name, we also need to change once again, version you can keep it to the same and obviously change this to your own name. Now, the main plugin class doesn't extend a Java plugin or a plugin. Matter of fact, if you try, it's not going to work. So this is all that you need to do, right? You need to make a class. And then if you'll have a look at the official documentation in the Velocity plugin basics, you'll notice that this is even what they recommend. So you just have a nice little public class and you have a constructor using something called a dependency injection. You don't have to worry about it because this is done automatically. And what you can put inside the constructor, I'm going to go with actually three things. And what we're going to need is obviously the main proxy server instance, because in 
developing a bucket plugins you can just call bucket when making bungee cord you can just call i think proxy but you can't really do that here so we need to get the proxy server from the constructor and by the way velocity will call the constructor automatically so make sure to put in the server then the logger even though you don't have to use it it still has to be in the constructor and then finally a data directory um, path, annotation path data folder to point out to the data folder now we can store these inside our fields. What I've done here is I've assigned the server and I've assigned the logger. When it comes to data folder, it's a bit strange because if you head over to the plugins folder, it actually will point out to chat filter AI just like that. And I'm not interested in it. I actually need the one with the proper uh, name instead of it using ID. So what I'm doing is I'm getting to the data folder, which is the one with the wrong name. Then I'm going to, uh, to file of it getting the parent file so opening back and opening back to the plugins folder and then i'm putting this entire thing inside a new file and then i'm getting this instance of the class the annotation plugin which is right here and getting the name from it which is the proper chat filter ai so i hope that makes sense guys just a little quick fix and then some of you guys will also be interested in the actual jar file which looks like something like that if you do need to have access to the jar file what you can do you can simply create a new file from it get the class get protection domain get code source get location to ure i had to do five backstands and 15 push ups to discover this method don't ask how but here you have it if you need it now similarly to bucket uh, there are three methods that we can call but they work a little bit different right so if you are making bucket plugins you'll notice that you can access on load on enable and on disable now these three are not available and we have to do a little bit of a workaround to get it down so how do we get access to the onload method this is actually called before the plugin is enabled you should not really call velocity at that point but you can call your own stuff outside of velocity just as you would with bucket so how do we get access to the onload method well it's actually the same as calling the constructor so all i did i simply call this that onload inside the constructor because at this point the plugin is being loaded how do we get access to the on enable well it's actually quite tricky there is something called proxy initialize event which is called when plugins are being enabled and normally you would have to register events just as you do in bucket or bungee cord however the main class is automatically um, registered for you in velocity and instead of using the event handler annotation all you're going to do is use the subscribe annotation from the velocity powered api event package right that's how it works and then we can just call a delegate this that on enable and it's right here similarly there is a proxy shutdown event which simulates how the on disable behavior would work now to test it all we get to do is go to the current file edit configuration click new and then head over to maven type in clean and install don't use package you need to use clean install to make sure that the old target folder is deleted and then install is actually going to make a copy put it to your local maven repository which package doesn't do which can lead to issues should you want to use this plugin in um, another one of your plugins should you want to connect it somewhere else and then hit over ok and then hit run wait until it said build success if it doesn't please make sure to read the console logs otherwise you can just comment below this video and i'm going to help you so now that this is compiled we can find the target folder inside the chat filter ai plugin open it and you should see a small very tiny file chat filter ai this is the actual velocity plugin it's extremely tiny which is very good all i have to do paste it inside my plugins folder inside velocity and then simply start the server just the same way that i taught you in the last video now right here what you, you what you'll notice loading plugins velocity plugin template is loaded so this is actually right here okay make sure to change this to your own plugin or you can just delete that or even better can actually use uh, the logger to print this message and there will be probably some haters commenting why i'm using system that out this is the worst way to lock things i know it's not ideal but i'm just using it it's very simple all right it's the first thing and then loading plugins you'll notice that the enabled message is here and when i type stop you'll notice that the velocity plugin template is disabled so everything works as it should now you have a very very simple and straightforward no bs template on how to create a new 
Velocity plugin. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn programming, if this is interesting to you, we actually run an entire academy at mineacademy.org where not only you're going to get access to an entire course on Java coding, on how to get a career as an independent developer, on how to build amazing Forge mods, Bucket, Paper, and Spigot plugins, but also you're going to get access to our coaches twice per week on live Zoom coaching. I'm going to leave a link to that class in the video description so that you can check it out later. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel for more cool stuff like that, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.